The Story of Orion and the Dolphin From Herodotus Periander, the son of Cypselus, was king of Corinth. And the Corinthians say, and the people of Lesbos agree with them, that a most astonishing thing happened in his lifetime. That Orion of Methymna was carried to Tenerus on the back of a dolphin. Orion was a lyre player, and second to no one else of his time. He was also the first, of any man we know, to compose a dithyram, to which he gave its name, and which he taught at Corinth. Here is the story they tell about him. Orion, who spent most of his time with Periander, set his heart on sailing to Italy and Sicily. Then, after earning a great deal of money there, he decided to sail back to Corinth. He started from Tarentum, though trusting no one more than he did Corinthians, he hired a ship from some Corinthian sailors. But when they got to sea, these sailors made a plot to steal his money and throw him overboard. When Orion saw what was going on, he pleaded with them, handing over all his money and begging for his life. He could not persuade them. They ordered him either to kill himself, to receive a burial on land, or leap immediately into the sea. With these threats hanging over him, Orion, in his perplexity, made a request. Since, he said, you are determined to do this, let me sing in full dress as I stand at the stern. I promise to end my life when I am done. It was a pleasing idea to think of hearing the best singer in the world. So the sailors moved from the stern to the middle of the ship. After putting on his full dress and getting his lyre, Orion sang at the stern an Orthian song. And once he was finished, he threw himself into the sea in all his dress, just as he was. The crew sailed away to Corinth. But a dolphin, they say, taking Orion on his back, carried him away to Tenerus. When Orion landed, he went to Corinth, just as he was dressed, and on arriving related everything that had happened. But Periander, in a state of disbelief, kept him under guard, and did not allow him to go anywhere, keeping, meanwhile, a close lookout for the sailors. When the sailors arrived, they were summoned and asked if they had anything to say about Orion. And while they were claiming that he was safe somewhere in Italy, and they had left him happy and well at Tarentum, Orion shows himself to them, looking exactly as he did when he leaped out of the ship. Stricken with horror and utterly confounded, they could no longer deny the truth. To this day, this is the story that both the Corinthians and lesbians tell. And there is at Tenerus a little bronze votive offering of Orion's. A man riding upon a dolphin. <laughs>